Hello, hello. So in this video, we are going to learn how can we connect React app with a Node application. So very quickly, let me create one folder here. Say client server. And inside this folder, I like to create two subfolder. One is client and another is yeah server. We will use React as a client application and the node as a server application. And uh, we want to connect this client application with server application. And one thing guys, don't write capital C here because when we create a React application later, it might throw some mm -hmm. problem. So just use a small C, okay? Now let me open terminal here. And very quickly, let me set up this client and server. So first of all, I would like to go to server application in here. Let me initialize my project. Y for default value. So here in server folder, now I will be having package.json file. Let me install express here to create my node application and the next course. Why course? Because the Later, we will send the request from client to the server and it might throw some course here. So to prevent this error, we will install course. So we will get node models and package.json file. Here, I like to create one folders src and inside this, I like to create index.js. Now very quickly, I will write some basic code to initialize my server application. So I have to import express from express. And as I have installed the course, so I will import here, import course from course. And uh, this is my express application so i have to write app equals express and uh, let me define port suppose uh, 5000 and uh, to use course i have to write app dot use course and uh, also i have to say my server application that I will use JSON file. So for this, I have to write express.json. And uh, now I would like to run my server. So I have to listen to the pod as I have already defined. And after my, uh, when my server get connected, I will display one message. So here I will console one message. successfully connected on port port okay now to run this application first of all i have to go to json package.json file and uh, one thing guys i have not used common js way to import a library i have used a new method so in this package.json file i have to write here type i have to pass Common, not common JS, I have to pass model and uh, to run my application, I have to write uh, node and uh, index.js is in my source folder, so I have to pass src slash index.js. I am doing this very fast because uh, this is not a React and Node tutorial, this is just uh, I'm just showing how can we uh, connect React and Node application. Now everything is fine. I can run this application using npm start. See, successfully connected on port 5000. Now here, uh, I would like to send one JSON file to my client. So I have to create one dummy JSON here. So here, let me write const dummy JSON equals name suppose uh, i detect this is not just a file this is javascript object but for now let me write dummy json 
I just like to so I would like to pass this domination to my client application. So first of all, I have to write, I have to send my domination. So I have to write app dot get. I will create a get request to my home to my home endpoint. So this is a forward slash means our home page, right? And here request and response. I will get request and response and uh, I will send the status to suppose the 200 or 201 and uh, uh, I will also pass my JSON file and my JSON file is DOM migration. So I would like to pass this DOM migration to this endpoint and uh, my client will uh, use this endpoint and this will get this DOM migration. Okay. So my server part is completed. Now I will open another terminal and here let me switch to client and to set up my client application i have to write npx create a, create a react app and i would like to create a react application in the same folder so i have to write dot it will take some time so i would like to skip this process okay my react application is successfully created you can see many files here so I can run this application using npm start. It will run my application in port 3000. So see, local 3000 and I will get my default application. So this is the default application, default page from the React. And uh, so my client application is running on local 3000, port 3000 and my server application is running on local 5000. Okay, what is happening? Let me go to my server and uh, I have to rerun this application because I have not used Node1 for now. So I have to rerun this application. NPM start. Okay, my server is uh, successfully connected on port 5000. And now if I refresh this page, okay. This is my server application where I have some dummy data and uh, my client application is running on port local 3000, port 3000. And I would like to uh, make connection between this React and Node application. So suppose uh, in this client application, I would like to print like learn React with IG Tech Team. IG Tech Team comes from my server. So I would like to print learn React with IG Tech Team. So how can I do this? It is very easy, guys. So let me go to my client side. And there are so many ways to uh, same the request, I would like to use Exios. So let me go to client and here I would like to install Exios. I will use Exios to send the request to the server. Okay. And if I go to this app.js, you can see Lawn React. I would like to uh, display Lawn React with IG tag team. I would like to display this part. Client doesn't know this text. This text will come from the server. So client doesn't know this text. I have to send request. And uh, to send the request, I have already installed Exios. I have to create one. Uh, let me create one file here. HTTP.js. Okay. I have to import Exios from Exios. And uh, cons HTTP equals Exios. I have to create this server so exist.create and i have to pass here base url my server is running on localhost 5000 so i have to pass it here http localhost 5000 okay this is it i have to just export this http export default http so i have just passed my Inpoint to the server application. So this is how I can create this HTTP and now using this HTTP I have to send request. So in this app.js I would like to send a request. So I have to write HTTP. First of all, I have to import HTTP. So import HTTP from HTTP and then uh, I have to send the get request. So HTTP.get and my I have created uh, you can see I have created the endpoint is slash, so I have to use app.get slash, and then it will return response. 
so i will suppose uh, i will console this response for now okay so when i go to my application you see there are i have got one data uh, so this is my response and uh, i can see the data here so i can successfully fetch my data from the server now i can use this data in my web application in my this page okay and uh, i can see two object as a output this is same object just i have to in this uh, in this dot js i i don't need to use react or strict mode now if i okay if i run this server i will get one single output and if i go to network tab here if i refresh this page i'm getting a ig tech team so get request i have sent get request and uh, i have got this data okay now i would like to display my data in this uh, text so let me write here let me import uh, use effect use effect and the use state here why because uh, because i would like to send request only one times it is now sending for one time but uh, this is very good practice to use to wrap this uh, request in use effect so let me wrap this uh, request in use effect and here i have to pass arrow blank arrow because i like to send this uh, request only one time so this is very good practice to wrap this request inside this use effect hook okay let me cut this code and let me paste it here see i have wrapped this code inside this use effect and i have to maintain state also because uh, the data that i get here i have to display here okay so i have to maintain state so here i can write cons data set data equals to use state use state in cell data is mpg so after i get data i will save data to this variable so you can clearly see in my console my data i have to write response dot data dot name because i detect him is uh, available in this object so i have to write like uh, i have to say data set data response dot data dot name okay now my ig text my text is available in this data variable so i can now use this variable clone react with the data i get from my server now if i okay now you can clearly see clone react with ig text this ig text comes from my server okay this is how we can connect react application with a node application so this is very easy right uh, i have just created i have just installed exios and i have sent a request to the server my server is running on local 5000 port 5000 and my client is running on port 3000 i have just made connection between them now i have run this application separately like i have run client separately and server separately i can also run this application at the same time means uh, i can run this client and server at the same time also so uh, to do this let me go to my main folder means my home folder let me initialize my package so here i can do the same way as we have done before and in this package file i don't need this all i can remove this and also i don't need this and i don't need this just i will install one package here npm install concurrently concurrently and it will come it will display in this uh, package.json file see concurrently is available in this package.json file now i have to write here start here i can use concurrently and first of all i have to go to my server applications so i have to write like uh, change that i have to change that to server and then i use 
npm start to run my application so i have to write here npm start and then uh, i have to write here for a client also i have to change directory to client so i have to write client and i have to write again npm start npm start okay so here i have to first go to my server and uh, i have to run npm start and again for the client application i have to go to my client and again i have to write npm start now let me close this client let me close this client server and uh, also let me close this server and now in my main folder i can write npm start so my server is successfully connected on port 5000 and my client is connected on 3000. See, I get the same response. So uh, I get data from the server and this is my client application. So this is how we can connect the application with node application. So this is all about it. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel IG Tech Team. I will meet you in the next video. Bye bye.